the show for real estate entrepreneurs. Craftstore.com, like obviously that's an insanely good domain name. Yeah. And one thing I've noticed about you over the years is you're very good at getting really good domain names. Do you have yeah. any tips for... Yeah, there's a bunch of tips for it. I mean, the, the biggest secret is just pay for them, you know. Um, they're, I think that domain names are still insanely cheap. Give me an example. I kind of won't say their name, but their name was taken, right? Somebody had it and they wouldn't sell it. This is a company that does $19 million a year in digital education, probably at a 40% margin. Right. 50% margin. Yeah. And they're like, can you help us get our domain name? This guy's just been holding on for it to it forever. And he wants $25,000 for it and he just won't come down. And I'm like, <laughs> just give know, it to him. Buy it, right? <laughs> right. And I ended up negotiating down for him. They actually wanted 100. I got it for like 19 grand or something. But yeah, there's a lot of ways to do it. Like, there's a lot of, I see domain names as land. Yeah. So I own about 3,000, about 1,000 of mine are really top tier names like sewing.com and, um, you know, homesteading.com, makeuptutorials.com, stuff like that. Don't uh, you have like billofrights.com? Um, billofrights.com, yeah, a bunch of other ones. <laughs> I own a lot of a lot of really good domains. And I just see them as a piece of land, right? So I, I buy them. The really good ones I register for 10 years, so I make sure I don't miss them, mm -hmm. right? Because you buy something for a lot of money and then register for a year, you're a real dumbass because you forget that. And then oops. Yeah. <laughs> so, um, but but yeah, you, you I register them and then I just hold them like any landowner would. And... I've got a development list of what I want to do next. Mm -hmm. And a lot of stuff I'm anymore, I don't really develop. I just wait for somebody to come along that's a good partner to run that. Right. Because I'm not good at running things. I'm really good at building the business model, you know, creating the copy, the advertising, figuring out how we're going to make money, figuring out the advertising, all, all that stuff. But when it comes down to the day-to-day -day grind of running the business, I really like to have a partner to do that. Mm -hmm. So a lot of stuff I've got sitting around just waiting for a partner to come by. Sometimes I'm aggressively seeking the partner, but I think when I do that, I find out I get poorer partners because mm. I'm sort of desperate. It's like it's like when you hadn't been laid in like six months and you go out. Probably not your first choice is probably gonna be your best choice. <laughs> <laughs> You're just on the prowl. <laughs> You're just on the prowl, right? So I try to. I just now I just have so many contacts to the events and digital marketing stuff that I'll just meet somebody that one day that happens to be the perfect fit for that mm -hmm. thing, and and then we'll put it together. I mean, I, I got a bunch of those. It's Are they always for sale? Like, do you have they're them listed all the time or you just keep them private? Yeah, they're never and... for sale. I only put the ones that I don't really want to keep for sale and I'll hold them for a year or two. Mm -hmm. But when you're negotiating them, just remember that nobody really knows what they're worth. Right. So there's a lot of, it's not like real estate, right? There's a lot of price elasticity. And you'll get a nut or, you know, they'll say, I, real estate is good.net, you know, and I want $2 <laughs> million for, for it. For it. Yeah. You know? You're like, you're a moron. Yeah. But most people are not, like that and they're, they're fairly easy to deal with and uh, um but but they'll, you can negotiate a lot i use a site called estibot estibot okay. does appraisals on domain names uh, e-s-t-i-b-o-t yeah and, 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 and you can do it i think you do one or two appraisals for free a month okay. or something oh cool but if you're getting more i have an account it's like 50 dollars a year or something but i'll i'll do the estibot and screenshot it and send it to them and say hey look now they're doing them i think they're doing the estimates for free on godaddy mm. i say godaddy says your domain's worth Three thousand dollars. Right. I'm offering you five thousand dollars. Don't Let's be an asshole, deal. right? Yeah. Uh, and that's that helps a lot. Sometimes people are unreasonable. And then always, when you're finally done with your final negotiation, and you've agreed on a price, then ask for terms. Mm. Because you can put that domain in escrow with escrow.com. They're not at any risk. So the the seller, when you understand how to explain this to them, it becomes pretty easy. Like if you got a domain and you want a hundred grand for it. And I want it, and we agree on a hundred grand, right? So, but I don't really want to. I want to try to make some money before I pay the hundred grand. Right. I might say, well, how about this? I'll give you the hundred grand you want, but I'll give it to you ten thousand dollars a month over ten months. Yep. So, you you Oliver move the domain to, to escrow.com, and you won't own it, and I don't own it. Escrow has it, yep. and we'll have an arrangement that says, once I've paid for it all, it transfers, it transfers to me. To me. Yeah. If I ever default and don't pay a payment within thirty days, it transfers back to you, and you keep the money. And you keep the money. So yeah. you're winner, winner, chicken dinner, right? right? So it's it's like an option on real estate or whatever. Yeah, it's, it's but it's a way I, that's the way I buy them. It's a lot more detail than that. Yeah. I did a couple talks on it. Yeah. You've been at some what, of those. What I actually really love about the way that you present the concept <clears throat> of domains related to real estate mm -hmm. really resonated with me because since that talk, we've been buying domains as yeah, well. Yeah, right. And it, it's true because like 
the same way you're buying you're buying the domain name, which is really like the raw land, right? It's land. It's land. And then to increase the value, you can start building your real yeah. estate on it, right? Put a site on it, start right. adding content, start getting traffic, right. increase the value. Because that all that content creation is an investment in development, right? Yeah. So if you're developing in on bad land, so I always want Fifth Avenue, right? That's what I go for. And if it's not available, then I go to the Lower East Side. You know, I try to get right. as close as I can. And sometimes if I don't have the money in that business to buy the, the domain, I kind of do now and kind of buy whatever I want. But it, uh, so I just go for it. You know, I just, I have a, a bid in right now on, you know, one I'm, I, I bid $50,000 on one this morning that I'm really, really, really hoping to get. Yeah. And if I get it for 50, I'm stealing it, right? I'll give you an example. I bought LasVegasConventionCenter.com. Not it's long a great ago. domain. Yeah. They want $110,000 for it. And after I finished negotiating with them, it took me five months. I paid $9,900 for it. Wow. The day that we closed, just total coincidentally, Las Vegas Convention Center announced a $1 billion expansion to the convention center. So yeah. the value just went up. You think? <laughs> yeah. So you never know, man. I've, I've gotten, I've sold a few for really good offers. I've, I've sold a few for, for, you know, five figures. I've never sold a six figure one, but, and then I buy a lot of little weird ones that I'll sell for, I'll buy for $20 and sell for 500 bucks. Right. And, if Quick I, flips. Yeah, I've been teaching my kids how to do it. I don't know if they'll do it or not. But if you, you know, if I'm ever like in the nursing home and I'm, I, I can just operate an iPad with a thumb and <laughs> thick glasses, I can make Flip a, domains I can make a living yeah. flipping domains. Yeah, you know? yeah, yeah. So what about for the people out there that want to um, purchase something or look around to find domains? Do you have uh, resources that you would recommend for purchasing? And yeah, there's a bunch. Um, I use a I use a site that I don't think a lot of people don't use. It's called Register Compass. Register Compass shows you all the domains available to purchase from different sources, and that's a paid service. Okay. But lately, I've been using another service, so it'll show you what's available that's expired, recently expired. It'll show you uh, what's about to expire, searched by name or whatever, and then it'll show you what's for sale. Okay. Right? I can usually spend 30 minutes on Register Compass and come up with something wicked better than anybody has, (laughs) you know? And sometimes you'll just find stuff that's like, cool, right? We, um, I was showing this to a guy and, uh, I was showing this to a guy at an event once and he just, he was searching t-shirt domains available and Sturgis t-shirts.com was available. So he bought it mm-hmm. for nine bucks. It was expired. Got a bunch of t-shirts for Sturgis, the big motorcycle festival. Yeah. Yep. And he has a business now, you know, and that just, now he slings Sturgis, Sturgis t-shirts online. Yeah. And, and once you, the thing about a, a what's called it, it's called an exact match domain. So they're branded domains. Like, like Big Block Realty, that's a brand, right? right. But if you were San Diego Real Estate.com, mm-hmm. that's an exact match, right? Mm-hmm. So the thing about it, <clears throat> with the same amount of weight in development and links and everything, San Diego Real Estate.com is going to always outrank Big Block Real Estate for San Diego Real Estate, right? right? So, which is your main search term. It's going to always outrank. And what a lot of people get confused about, so which one should I get? Should I get this one or this one? Truth is both. What I would do is redirect my branded domain to the exact match, and then I would have my logo on the exact match domain. Mm. You can be Leroy's Barbecue at barbecue.com. Right. Right. You don't. You, Las Vegas Barbecue.com. Right. Or whatever. Yeah, whatever. Yeah. So, because once you rank with an exact match domain, it's easier to rank, but it's very hard to knock that person out of the top slot when they have it. Mm. Like tires.com, right? right? They're number one for tires or, or makeup tutorial. Because of that exact match. Yeah. yeah. It's very hard to knock them out of that saddle once they achieve the position. Nice. And one of the other uh, resources you shared with us, which we've actually <coughs> made a couple purchases on, is justdropped.com. Mm-hmm. That's a great website yeah. for finding recently like $80 inspired. domains. Yeah, yeah everything's 80, like bucks, 60 to bucks. 80 bucks. Yeah. Um, maybe at the most, like 200 But they have really good domain names all the I'm time. I'm using a new source now called undeveloped.com, which okay. is pretty cool. It's only stuff for sale. Okay. But it goes all the way from 20 bucks, And they're aggregate all of the different domain sellers okay. into one searchable list. So they're like the kayak.com. Of, they are. They're okay. kind of like kayak. The they're trying to be. And they're, yeah. and they're doing a pretty doggone good job. And some are make offer and you got to negotiate. And depending on who owns them, there's, oh gosh, it's all, there's one guy named Frank Schilling that owns like 70% of the really great domains in the world. There's an article about him. It's called The Man Who Owns the Internet. He started buying, <coughs> he started buying domain names like, like as soon as they were available to buy and he bought like Hundreds of thousands of them. Wow. And he owns... What's his name? Frank Schilling? Yeah, his name's Frank Schilling. I've never met him. I'll check he him out. He lives in like 
Nevis or somewhere. There's a guy that wrote, Inc. wrote an article about him. It's called The Man Who Owns the Internet. Check that out for sure. And he's just made hundreds of millions of dollars. Probably never had to work again. And he's, But when he's been selling them, even though he bought them, a lot of them, he, but as he's selling them, he's buying more. Mm. So he's still buying premium. There's a lot of places to bid on ones that are about to expire. Mm -hmm. one, one resource that's really cool is called namejet.com. And it'll show you everything that's about to expire. Or if you just want to put a domain in it, I'll, I'll tell you one. So I did, uh, I wanted a particular kind of, a particular domain for a product we've just developed called Potty Bombs. So Potty Bombs are freaking awesome. They're bath bombs, but they're only this big. They have the same stuff in them that's in poopery. Okay. So instead of spraying it, you just drop a bomb. Splash it you in. Just drop a bomb. <laughs> <laughs> you know? So you so, drop a bomb and then drop a yeah. bomb. But I wanted to buy Potty Bomb and PottyBombs.com, so I contact this guy and he's like, "Yeah, I want a hundred thousand dollars a piece for him." And oh, I'm like, please. "You're freaking high," and it just wasn't even worth a conversation. I went and put them both into Namejet. This didn't always work out. About nine months later. He didn't re-register them, and I bought them for $69 a piece. <laughs> so he just forgot to register them, and you he got forgot. an email so or an alert them. or no, something? No, it, it goes ahead and pays for them and grabs them. Awesome. And the way the service works is a little weird. Like, if you're the only person that put that on hold, then you just get the domain. But if, like, you and I both put it on hold mm. at different times and it comes available, they'll grab it, and then there'll be a private auction just between you and I. Okay. Yeah. So whoever's... Grabbed it and yeah. tapped it for right. Yeah, you, it's called uh, reserving it. So you mm -hmm. reserve that domain. So that's uh, I use them a lot. Okay, and they have just a lot of good auctions on there. Stuff that pops up that you would never think of. I bought, I bought. Uh, I won't say the name of it right now because they're fighting over it. But there's a country club name that I bought. That there's six of them in the country with this name. So I bought uh, xxcountryclub.com. So I bought it for uh, two hundred and ten dollars or something. And I sent out a FedEx to all the different country clubs that there's none of them have their domain. They got a .NET or a hyphenated. Mm -hmm. And I said, look, I have this. I'm going to sell it at auction. And here's the thing. And I, I bought it on Namejet, promoted it, and then listed it back on Namejet. And now it's at auction. That's great. So I think I'll probably get, I think right now the bid on it's about 3400 bucks. That's wild. So it's just, I, I bought it on that platform, sell it on that platform, but just alerted more people that it was available, people that would want it, that it was available. Yeah. So it really is just like real estate. It's it really just, is. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's literally. Like, it's like saying, hey, your neighbor is going to sell. Yeah. And you're sending a letter to the, what, to don't you guys do that? Exactly. Yeah. Yep. It's like that. You know, who would want that? Yeah. And if you get them bidding against each other, you can ask a price, but it's way better to just let them bid. Oh, Because they'll sure. just go bananas. Especially if they don't know. <laughs> yeah, right? And nobody knows what it's worth. It's worth, the, some guy told me one time, is you know why, you know how uh, how a painting becomes worth a million dollars? How's that? Two billionaires want it. Yeah. That's the secret. Right. Seriously, that's it. So market to the billionaire. Very cool. Um, great advice on domains. So I think that's definitely um, something that people can, can do a lot with. To listen to this full Founders Club interview, go to foundersclub.tv.